Jackson School Board holding a meeting tonight to denounce a racially insensitive social media post shared by a middle school student this week. Fox 40 Zach Boetto was able to talk with the district earlier today, joins us now live in Dixon with what officials are saying about the superintendent's response. Zach. Eric, district officials made it clear tonight that racism has no place here in Dixon or at any Dixon schools. Dixon Unified School District staff spent much of Thursday supporting students and families impacted by a racially offensive social media post. It's just intolerable. Um, uh, it's not acceptable in any way. A seventh grader at John Knight Middle School allegedly shared the post, which according to the district showed photos of about 20 students and staff who are all African American or biracial accompanied by a racially offensive message regarding Black History Month. One parent at the board meeting Thursday night expressed her frustration. When it comes to the school, there are students that are tormented because their shade is different. Superintendent Brian Nolan held a meeting Wednesday night, hours after the post was discovered, and met with families involved late into the night. Nolan saying in a statement, quote, never in my 35 years in education have I seen something so hateful, vile, and abhorrent come from one of my students, end quote. Governing board members for the district were glad to see the superintendent take swift action. The initial step was to take down the post. That was a very good first step uh, initiated by our superintendent and our staff. And then the next step, which is also a very important one, is to focus on the healing process, which our staff was very involved with. And I'm, I'm proud that that was a point of emphasis from uh, our school district employees. District officials say the student who they believe was responsible for the post was not at school on Thursday, but would not comment on disciplinary action pending the active investigation. Bottom line is there's no room for any type of racism on that level in this community or anywhere across America, either overtly or even implied. Dixon Unified does plan to have a press conference tomorrow at 1 p.m. to release more information about this incident. We will have updates here online, here on air and online at our website at fox40.com. Reporting live in Dixon, Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News. Zach, thank you.